Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a Friday night restaurant reviews. It just seems like we just keep piling these reviews one after another. And tonight it's another walk down memory lane with a trip to Jack in the Box, our local purveyor of grub and certainly our closest fad fast food place here to the uh, Rancho. So I think it's been a couple years since we went. I think we went in springtime. Now it is, uh, of course, the dead of winter. Raining. Otherwise, we would just be, uh, we'd be hoofing it up the road. See, Jen, we're going to uh, go back the first time. We really liked the uh, Jack in the Box. And uh, we're going to go back and see what it's like tonight. See if they have anything new. See if they have any, you know, kind of, what kind of eating value for 2019. <laughs> this year so i think it will come out with our bellies full i'm not particularly worried about that so but we are glad to have you along tonight it's jack in the box we'll be there in now Nobody here again. They have a value menu. I don't know if they have that Can or I not. Do you have a value menu? Yeah, it's right Which one? Oh, Jack Steele's. Okay. I'd like to get one chicken sandwich, uh, one junior bacon cheeseburger, and a value fries, and a value drink, please. Anything else? I think whatever she wants there. Jen, kind of disappointing. No diet drinks at all. No, when you use the little machine over here, it says unavailable for, you know, one of those dispenser machines it says unavailable. So, have to have pull on Sprite tonight. But here's the tail of the tape. Ordered off the value menu. The two chicken sandwiches, two junior cheeseburgers, value fry, value coke, one small french fry. That would have been the same as a value fry, wouldn't it? I don't know, you got that, it was like a buck more, you know. Mm. Then you got the shake, which is fine. Somebody left some change up on the counter, wrapped in, uh, I thought it was our receipt, it was somebody else's receipt. It had uh, 80 cents left in it, so. Okay, so all in we were, what were we, Jen? Uh, 17, 18 tonight, so we'll see what comes. So definitely some disappointment. We've got... Uh, no lights on here at all. 
so I'm gonna go up and see if that's us. Uh, we got the uh, chicken Sammy here. I think what was that? A buck seventy nine or something. Then we got the junior bacon cheese. And I've got the value fries here, which looks to be okay. Looks like they chucked the curly fry in it. <laughs> Missy Jen got the same, except she got the regular small fry, I think. And then you, what did you get? An Oreo shake? Oreo shake, yeah. Kind of disappointing how some of the light fixtures. You know, the place is definitely degraded. It's certainly not as clean as it used to be. You can see some of the mess over there. They're kind of slacking here. Not having the, uh, you know, not having the uh, soda. First time I've ever gone into a fast food place, they didn't have diet. Coke, Diet Sprite, yeah, anything so like that. Maintaining that machine, so that's All right, the, so what are you going to try first, Jen? There, um, try your fries. I think the, I've had a couple fries. They're delicious. So oh, I yeah. think they're really mm. good. Very yeah, good fries. Good. Mm. Total win. Just the right salt on them. Yeah. Nothing wrong at all with them. Mr. Jen's gonna give a whirl on the uh, chicken. I'm gonna trade off for the. Uh, I'll try the beef first. So, how's that look then? That's the value patty on there. It's a good size patty. Right, good size patty. It's good size, bigger than you would get, I think, at another place. Thicker than the other patties. Yeah. Okay. Looks alright. Give that a whirl. Let's see what you think of that. Put that into your mall there and see how that is. That's a lot of that's a lot of slab of chicken right there. So look good. All right. I'm impressed. That was like a buck something. Okay. What do you think? It's pretty like, tasty. Yeah. yeah. So, I think the nice. food has the potential to outshine the restaurant nice here tonight. Spices, food, yeah. Huh? Okay. All right, good deal. I'll trade off with Missy, and I'm going to go for the hamburger and try that, and then we'll trade off again. All right, well, I'm having had the fries, too. Like I said, I think the fries are pretty tasty. Good. Now, not much on the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Not a very big piece of beef on there. You see that, Jen? Yeah. I think it's assembled very poorly. The bacon stuck on top. Of it. I guess it doesn't come with uh, lettuce and tomato on it, so we'll go ahead and try That's that. all just meat and cheese. It's about the bacon and the cheese. And the burger. Definitely get the bacon coming through. Good bacon. The beef, uh, not so, uh, you know, you can taste it, but I wouldn't say it's it's uh, it's knocking the lights out. What's really foul is the drink tastes terrible. Here. It's like it's got some weird metallic taste, like it's old or something like that, so I got no idea about that. Yeah, they probably haven't is, maintained the machine for a year. That's, that, to me, is very off-putting, that soda. And I'm still in shock that they don't have diet anything. Although I will say, when you're in a when you're in a predominantly Mexican neighborhood, it's not unusual. It's very hard to find diet anything around here. So, one more bite of this. Nothing really that special. But for the price? Fries are good. I mean, for, for the price. Oh, for the price, yeah. It's acceptable. But when you think for $2, McDonald's, yeah. you can get a McDouble, uh, McDouble burger for like 2 bucks. Well, maybe the chicken sandwich will cheer you up. 
We'll be trading off when we finish these. She'll be evaluating beef. I'll be going after the chicken. But pretty good flavor. <laughs> The guy is doing some uh, doing some cleanup uh, here, which is a good thing. Definitely need that on the, uh, the floor over there, though. But glad to see somebody out and about anyway, cleaning up tables and, and doing all that. So. Yeah, always good. Always good. Okay. No, I said somebody cares back there. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Time to tear on to the chicken sandwich. I'm gonna go ahead and give this the world. The fries, the, fries, the fries, they're my favorite of any fast food place. I've been fries, fries are out of sight. Just perfectly, perfectly salted, perfectly done. Total win. Hamburger, you know, for the for the buck or whatever. Let's tear into the uh, let's tear into the cheese now. Excuse me, the chicken sandwich and see what we get. See what we get here. Uh, you know, it's unusual. The chicken, the chicken sandwich actually has the uh, lettuce and everything on it. Like Jen said, it's a good size pack. Let's go with. Let's take her in for the flavor test. It's a pretty decent chicken sandwich for the size, assembly, and then everything. To me, it's kind of like a, definitely an institutionalized kind of chicken patty, but the, but the taste is pretty good. It's, it's got a very really nice flavor to it. Yeah, it's got a good flavor. It's, I think it's better than like the McChicken. You know, when you go to McDonald's, you got to get the, the spicy mm -hmm. McChicken. You don't always want to get the spicy one, but that's what happens to be on the uh, value menu. So, okay. I'm going to give that a uh, thumbs up. I think Missy Jen's going to evaluate her milkshake next. They always got a really thick shake, don't they, Jen? It's really thick and it hardly ever melts. It takes forever. To That's melt. scary. <laughs> hmm? It hardly ever melts. But it's good. Real milk, whipped cream here. Yeah, baby. I think it's one of the things they do best. I think they, uh, they I'm not sure. I think real, they use the real milk when they, they do use, a shake. They use real milk, and it says even on your mouth, it does melt. Okay. All right, but that gets to go, so we'll let her grab her uh, time, time to tear into that beef burger now, Missy Jen. There we go. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let's take a look at the assembly. Okay, so it's got the bacon. It's got the bacon on it. Mayo, ketchup, cheese, beef. I'm kind of surprised they couldn't assembly put a okay. piece of lettuce on it, but anyway. The assembly is all right. Go ahead and give that a whirl. It's a good, good solid kind of, good cut, solid kind of bacon, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so it's got a really nice bacon flavor to it. And the beef pad is, uh, yeah. But for the price, you really want to have that bacon, so bacon and cheese, so. Yeah, we're we're in here eating for less than ten bucks a pop so, in here. For the price, you get your value. Yeah. So, it's, uh, okay. It's decent, yeah. All right. Just you know, it's mm -hmm. it's not a gourmet, but don't ever confuse it with super burger. Or, you know, it's not right. a gourmet cut of uh, beef, but 
Let's I think it's not going to knock your socks off, but yeah, it, you get your balance. Work. I think it's acceptable. Yeah, it's acceptable. All right. Absolutely. Woo! It is time once again to put our review in, and some things continue to be good here at Jackson. I think they're market leaders for certain things here. Yeah, uh, but in some ways, sure, some sure. some things definitely degraded. Uh, a value you want to get a value drink because you can get multiple <clears throat> refills on the value drink if you get. So you want to get the lowest cost drink that you can get. But it's the first time in my memory, Missy Jen, that you could not get um, any diet drink of any kind out of that machine, and that was very disappointing. Then when I went to have the uh, went to have the regular Sprite, it tasted like it was f it fouled to me, like it had sat a long time in this in this cylinder. Uh, you no know, whatever bueno. this, and I just it was no bueno. It no was no bueno. bueno. That automatically no, knocks. That automatically knocks three points off for me. So I'm starting with a seven now. The burger. Sorry for the uh, focus thing. The burger was decent. The chicken was decent. The fries were great. The place needed a cleanliness check, but there was a guy that was coming around. But 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 there was a guy that was coming around and doing the cleanup. So the food I thought for a value menu was spot on for the price of uh, what it should be. Yeah. Buck something and then Missy Jen had the uh, shake and a bigger size fries. So Jen, I'm going to give this a, I think I'm going to give this about a uh, six star for me experience tonight because this, this soda, we're, we're going we're gonna to differ on this because <clears throat> of your, you got the shake. But the soda just trashed the experience for me. So, Missy Jen, six stars from me. me how, six out of ten. How about you? Well, as good as they were last time, I must knock down a lot of points, too. <clears throat> because the bacon burger, even though you got your values worth, in my opinion, it could have been better. The chicken sandwich was good. For its value, you really got a pretty good chicken sandwich. The fries were good. But the place was just not clean enough. Yeah, the guy was picking up stuff, but nobody was... Oh, he had was, light bulbs and... <clears throat> I mean, you know? it's, the place is, compared to what it was last time when we were here, it's 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 a disaster. It's definitely a hood. <clears throat> hood so faster. really, it seems like the ghetto has taken over this place and turned it into a hoodlum. Yeah, it's got a lot hoodlum of, place. A lot of hoods <clears throat> hanging out here. Yeah. And uh, so I'm giving this a six. I remember when we had reviewed it first, it had like a nine stars yeah, because it was, it we was, were really it like was top notch. But now they've really gone boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Boom, 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 down to a six and I feel kind of generous about that and to be honest I don't feel like wanting to come back here again I don't think so maybe just for a shake occasionally or something like that but otherwise I feel the same way we can now strike this off the menu the in the hood unless we're terrible. really hard up for something to uh, mm. to eat in a hurry which I can't imagine given the variety of each in our neighborhood, but six stars from Missy Jen, six stars from me. Yeah. The physical plan is definitely taking a wear and tear here. Everything is geared towards the drive-through. You'll notice here that there's the very few people Everybody goes inside, very few people. Everybody's yeah. in the uh, drive-through and it seems to be geared yeah. that way. Anyway, there it is for us. Thanks for watching, guys. Another Friday night mm -hmm. restaurant reviews. We appreciate you being along. We appreciate you uh, enjoying along with us. We don't always hit winners, but we're much harsher critics now. Well, and that's uh, what we're here for, yeah. to see if people are still consistent or if they gotten better or if they have gone down the tube. And this one here has surely gone down the hoops big time get the royal boot okay guys thanks so much for watching tonight the royal boot has been delivered that's right on jack Woo. in the box thanks so much for being along